Sure. Answer me a couple of things. If I can. Do you have any new Paul Sheldon books? Well, we had a batch. Sold them all out in three days. You wouldn't happen to know if Miss Wilkes bought one of them, would you? Are you kidding? By the time that fella writes a new book, she has me set aside the first copy. Has she been uh, buying anything odd lately? Miss Wilkes? Same old stuff. Lest you call paper odd. Newspaper? No. Typing kind. Well, that kind. Nothing odd about that. Ms. Wilkes done something? Not a thing. understand you cook your meals I tend to you practically 24 hours a day and you continue to fight me when are we going to develop a sense of trust Sorry, I didn't mean to startle you, but you didn't give me a chance to knock. I guess you can tell from my reaction I'm not all that used to visitors out here. What can I do for you? Well, I was wondering, do you happen to know anything about Paul Sheldon? What do you want to know? Well, anything you could tell me might help. Well, he was born in Worcester, Massachusetts, 45 years ago. The only child of Franklin and Helene Sheldon, mediocre student, majored in history. Well, that, that isn't exactly the kind of information I'm after. You see, he's been missing for quite some time now, and I... I know. It's so upsetting. I'm his number one fan. I've got all his books, every sentence he ever put down. I'm so proud of my Paul Sheldon collection. Well, <laughs> here I am, prattling on, and my manners have just flown away. I haven't invited you in. Please. Thank you. Of course, you must know all about that horrible accident. Mind if I take a look around? Of course not. That accident almost killed me, too. I prayed when I heard the news. I got down on my knees, and I begged for it not to be true. You're going to laugh at what I'm about to say, but go ahead. I don't care. When I was praying, God told me to get ready. Get ready for what? To be his replacement. He gave so much pleasure to so many people. There's a shortage of pleasure on the planet these days, in case you hadn't noticed. God told me, since I was his number one fan, that I should make up new stories as if I was Paul Sheldon. So I went to town, and I bought a typewriter and paper to type on, the same kind Paul Sheldon used. And I turned the guest bedroom into a writing studio. Would you like to see it? Sure. It's right this way. I know how he wrote, the kinds of words he used, the wonderful stories he told. I spent the last four weeks trying to write like Paul Sheldon, but I can't do it right. I try and I try and I know all the words, but it's just not the same. Well, maybe it takes a while to get the hang of it. <laughs> I could give you a couple of hundred pages of mine and you could tell me what you think. Mm, I'm not much of a critic. Well, I just thought. Oh, look at me. You'd think I'd never had a guest before. Would you like a nice hot cup of cocoa? No, really, I don't It's care. no trouble. There's some already made.
Must get lonely living out here all by yourself. Well, I always say if you can't enjoy your own company, you're not fit company for anyone else. Well, you've got a point there. <laughs> Thanks, Miss Wilkes, but I don't want to take up any more of your time. I'd best be going. But you didn't even taste your cocoa. Well, I'm sure it's wonderful, but I really shouldn't be getting back. Well, if you wouldn't mind, perhaps I could pay you another visit sometime. I'd be delighted, now that you know the way. Mr. Sheldon? 